ठीक है आप शुरू कर सकते हो यस सर सो वी विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग ऑन एन आईपीओ बेसिकली ओके आदित्य विल स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंटेशन एंड देन आस्था विल कंटिन्यू एंड एट द लास्ट आई विल बी स्टैंड लाइक एक्सप्लेनिंग द स्टैटिस्टिक्स ओके अनुज आई एम स्टार्टिंग यू आर स्टार्ट ओके आस्था विल स्टार्ट या गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई एम आस्था ठाकुर एंड माय ग्रुप मेट्स आर अनुज एंड आदित्य वी आर हियर टू प्रेजेंट ऑन द आईपीओ ऑफ साइंट डीएलएम लिमिटेड थ्रू दिस प्रेजेंटेशन we aim to shed light on our findings and insights providing a comprehensive understanding of the ipo and its significance in today's landscape we will be following this flow of the uh, structure for the presentation we will provide an overview of the company so followed by the issue current stock market and the other financial details now i would like to pass the baton to aditya who will delve deeper into our analysis aditya over to you sure uh, good afternoon everyone so we'll be i'll be talking about the company uh, silent dlm it was established in 1399 uh, it has been a key player in electronic manufacturing services sector offering a range of solutions to its clientele uh, it specializes to build uh, it build to uh, print uh, build to print and uh, build to specialization services specification services the company caters to a diverse client needs Uh, under B two P, clients provide uh, clients provide product designs and uh, sign DLM uh, responds with uh, flexible manufacturing services. And uh, when you talk about B two S, it involves company designing the products based on client specifications and subsequently handling the manufacturing processes. Uh, uh, sign DLM solutions are centered around printed circuit uh, boards assembly, PCBA, and cable harnesses. so it showcases that they have expertise in electronic manufacturing and it their commitment towards designing uh, tailored solutions for the clients uh, so these are the objects of the issue the funding incremental working capital requirement of the company is around 2910 million the funding capital expenditure is 435 mm-hmm. million the repayment in part or uh, or certain of the borrowings is 1609 million and uh, achieving inorganic growth through acquisition 700 million okay good as the so now i'll be talking about the stock quotes and the chart so uh, clients uh, it the uh, sign stock opened at 11, uh, 812 um, 812.9 uh, rupees uh, it marked the starting point of the j- trading journey today and uh, sorry on, on the 1st of march uh then it's a uh, high today it uh, d- during the whole day the the highest was 820 rupees and the lowest was 791 rupees so it shows that there was a volatile nature of the uh, stock price of the uh, 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 sign then around uh, the total p- the previous so the closing amount was 803.1 uh, rupees and uh, the total traded value is around 2 lakh like 48571 and the 52 weeks high uh, weeks high was 833 which was very high from uh, even uh, if we compare it to today's amount and it also the 52 weeks lowest was 403 rupees so these are the dlm ipo report details so the the ipo was de- uh, listed uh, dated on uh, june 27 2023 and the listing date was 10th of july 2023 So at the the face value at which DL uh, signed DLM was uh, issued was ten uh, rupees per share. The price band is around two fifty to two sixty five per share. The lot size was fifty six shares. Total issue size was around twenty two crore twenty three lakh thirty nine thousand shares. So uh, fresh issues were twenty two two crore twenty three lakh thirty nine thousand again. The so it aggregated up to five hundred ninety two crore rupees. So employee discount was around fifteen per share, and the issue type was book built issue issue uh, IPO. So it was listed in BSE and NSE both. So signed DLM IPO's timeline is this it goes this way. The IPO was again twenty uh, seventh of June two thousand twenty three, uh, and the close date was around thirty thirty June two thousand twenty three. Uh, the basis of the allotment was done on Tuesday, uh, June July fourth, and two thousand twenty three. Then there was initiation of refunds. Then uh, the credit of the shares to demand listing date and the cut off time for UPI mandate confirmation was done on fifth uh, uh, on thirtieth uh, June on uh, at five pm. 
so yeah so ip reservation uh, yeah. so i was talking about the signed element yeah. ipo reservation anuj next slide please yeah so the allocation of shares in the sign dlm limited was governed by uh, the was governed by some of the regulations by uh, securities and exchange board of india so uh, anush so these are the four criteria uh, that are given by cb yeah so here we can see that uh, okay so the first criteria was that uh, not more than 10% to the rii's so here we can see in the table that uh, the shares offered to i i rri is around 9.73% which is less than 10% same goes for the second criteria that is not more than 15% to nii's here uh, nii's have been allotted around 14.6% uh, of uh, share the third criteria was not less than 75% to qibs here uh, in the table it is also depicted as a uh, same last one being the 5% of this portion shall be allocated to the mutual funds now if i talk about the promoter of the company uh, before the issue scient limited the company's promoter held 92.84% of the shares however after the issue the share holding decreased to 66.8% this indicates uh, a reduction in scient limited's ownership stake in the company following the issuance of new shares now talking about anchor locking the binning of shares began on uh, june 2023 a total of 97000 9800 103 uh, uh, total of 103 shares were offered to purchase uh, before the public bidding some shares were uh, some shares worth 259.65 crore were reserved for anchor investors and these investors had to hold on to 50% of uh, their shares for at least 30 days after they bought them until august 323 the uh, the remaining of the uh, the remaining of 50% of their shares had to be held for 90 uh, 90 days uh, until to okay so these are the list this is the list of anchor investors who invested uh, in this particular ipo next slide yeah so these are the eight domestic mutual funds who have applied through total 11 schemes uh, in this ipo next slide. yeah so my, now if i talk about the ipo lot size for the retail investors the minimum application is for one lot which equals 56 shares uh, requiring an investment of 14840 the maximum application for these uh, retail uh, investors is th 13 lots equivalent to 70 70 uh, 728 shares and 1 lakh 92 thousand 920 shares for the small nhis the minimum is 14 lots maximum is uh, maximum is uh, 67 shares were uh, minimum were 784 with the 375 to the higher end and the amount uh, the minimum amount was 2 lakhs uh, 7760 and the higher amount was 9 lakh 94 94280 now if we talk about the big nhis uh, they were uh, they over allotted 60 they were uh, allowed to have 68 lots with 3808 shares and 10 lakh 9120 uh, amount so what is the upper limit for uh, the retail investors uh, arsa do you remember how much they can invest in an ipo i mean retail investors maximum? sir upper limit for retail investors is like 192000 right no this is for this ipo but what is otherwise generally i mean what is by I, I, regulations permit how much they can invest two lakhs Two lakh, huh? Yeah. Two lakh. Two lakh. That is what you got to answer. Yes, okay. Go ahead, please. Next. Anu, I think somebody else will be asked. Okay. Uh, Asta will continue from here, sir. Yeah. Okay. So the four fl floor price and cap price of the offering are set at two uh, fifty. Were set at two fifty and two sixty five. And uh, the earnings per share for the year two thousand twenty three was seven point seven five. Based on this IP uh, EPS. Uh, the uh, the pe ratio came out to be as a uh, 32.3 on the lower end and 34.2 on the higher end so i'll be taking up from here explaining you all the statistics before continuing with the presentation i will uh, 
require you to see the excel sheet a little bit so uh, is it visible sir yeah yeah so this is it uh, so uh, we calculated this eps and then the pe ratio the pe industry average pe ratio was this one the highest was 71 the lowest was 26 and in and on an average it was around 50 so the thing is uh, like on seeing the floor price and cap price here we can see the highest pe ratio which it can have is 33 and the lowest it can have is 32 so this is around the lowest industry pe ratio only because all other uh, competitors have around uh, more than the uh, like the pe ratio is larger than the sant dlms okay so now we will continue with the presentation again so uh, from this excel sheet only we can see that uh, uh, like it is not expensive to buy uh, this uh, ipo okay yes so i will continue with the presentation and we were here and next we can see the return on net worth like return on net worth is uh, calculated by uh, taking the return on the only the shareholders wealth uh, by like uh, net income divided by the uh, total assets minus liabilities or we can directly take the shareholders wealth right so that is the net, uh, uh, net worth of the company so it is coming around weighted average of the 3 years is coming around the 30% and uh, we have already seen the net as uh, net asset value of the equity shares is from the B, uh, basic and diluted it is both the same uh, and we can assume that it is not having any kind of uh, derivatives or the convertible shares or that kind of thing uh, given to the companies or the banks and that's why the basic and diluted uh, both uh, things are उट so we cannot make out anything if we just see the eps and diluted eps but uh, if we look at the this column return on net worth which sir you just mentioned is still it is more than the other companies okay other like peer group, the peer group basically the peer group peer group listed by the company itself maybe uh, maybe uh, it was a, you know it was a industry kind of a kind of a, you know uh, uh, this thing you know phenomena basically so all the companies Might have all the yes, sir. Investments might have come down this year, so still it is the highest performer, basically. I mean, still, still yes, sir. That's what I was going to uh, talk okay. about. Okay. Yeah. So still, it has the highest uh, return on net worth. So we can assume that it is it would be profitable uh, more than the other companies. Yeah. And still, and the PE ratio is also uh, less than the other um, uh, like industry average and the. and far more, more closer to the lowest pe ratio of the industry so it is not expensive coming to the next slide uh, these are the financials so we will look at the financials and we will uh, try to see but first we will see the graphs so the graphs are uh, we have plotted the graphs for profit profit of the year and profit margin profit for the year 2023 and profit margin is decreasing both are decreasing so uh, i came up with it like uh, if we look at this this slide first then we can see that ebit and ebitda both are increasing for 2023 as well In right terms of absolute value yeah uh, um, the operating profit would be increasing for 2023 as well but let's uh, uh, when uh, they calculate the profit after tax uh, when they uh, profit before tax as well when they pay the interest is so that is Uh, decreasing in the 2023 only so we can assume that they would be having a long term borrowings and the short term borrowings uh, quite high because they are also in the slide 4 as well which aditya mentioned that uh, they want to pay the repayment of certain borrowings about uh, 1600 millions uh, of the borrowings they want to repay saying that you know profit after tax is uh, you know lower Uh, or uh, yes, because of the high you know borrowings which they have so they need to you know get rid of that debt yes sir yes sir okay 
and uh, we can uh, see directly from the ebit and ebitda that the operating profit is increasing year on year okay yes sir so this is the reason why this uh, profit and profit margins are, are decreasing okay. so next we are coming to the return on the capital employed uh, which is like ebit divided by shareholder equity or plus the long term debt or we can just say total asset minus the total current liabilities so it has also decreased by a, a certain number uh, we, we can uh, even here we can consider the similar phenomenon uh, regarding the rise of debt of the company isme aapka jo graph mein hai na you should put data labels so that you know you can uh... i was putting the data labels but uh, actually we were about to put the third graph so and those no, were no, not no, taking no, the you can just complete it and share with me okay. yes sir yes i have the data labels with me in the excel file okay. i'll share it with you next uh, these are the uh, these are the financials of the peers uh, we can see uh, that market share of the company is uh, uh, on the lower end is not high as compared to its peers but still uh, it is uh, having domestic and international revenue in uh, like 50 around the equal amount of revenue compared to other com uh, uh, companies which per either perform in the inter international markets or e either in the domestic markets only but scient is performing equally on both ends so when we look at the this uh, return on net uh, net worth our scient dlm is having the highest but uh, uh, and uh, return on capital employed as well uh, scient dlm is having the second highest so considering these two uh, these two i would say these two parameters we can consider that uh, scient dlm would be a profitable company Uh, considering for the uh, uh, like pay placing a uh, bet in the ipo or taking shares in the ipo okay so this was the recommendation and, and this was out from our end uh, resources which we referred to were uh, sebi and jitorgad screener and fapesar okay good thank you sir. thank you sir and i will also uh, show you the graphs and the data tables uh, from this here so data table is represented here in this the first graph and coming to this uh where is the data table this way so we can see that uh, uh, revenue uh, this was the other graph which we created that the revenue growth is a kind of constant from the last two years but it has dropped in the 2022 okay so uh, so it was not clear on what part uh, we, uh, that we can make a decision on it but here on the capital employed it has decreased from 2022 but it still it is more than the 2021 uh, return so we can consider that it is not going into losses as of now so it might go into losses if it is considering considerably decreasing from the two years uh, average but it is more than that okay great wonderful Yes, it's good. I mean, it was a great presentation. Uh, you people, yes, I know. Everybody question. has chosen some funds. Part? Some people have chosen IPO. Some people have chosen mutual funds. So it was a variety of presentations. So very good. Now you know my top. My job become very difficult because each one of you have done a very good presentation. Okay. So so anyway, I'll just go through the presentation again. I'll lot marks on that basis. Okay. Fine. So great show. Yes. Okay. All the best to you for your exams. See you next. Thank you, sir. See you. Oh, sir, should we? Sir, should we mail you the presentations in Excel or? Ha, we... mail me the presentations. Yeah. So uh, uh, what Anuj can do is that he can mail all the presentations once he gets. I, I'll make the drive link and I will mail ha, you the sure, drive sir. link of everyone. Just share me on a drive. That will be better. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And sir, please confirm. Uh, sir, you have shared a sample mutual fund assignment of a person from BMS, right? Yeah. Sir, she has done uh, analysis on every mutual fund, Haan, but, but you are uh, yeah. In my exercise, said you have to just do for one, okay? One of them. Haan, so you can do yeah. only one or two, whatever you want to do, no problem. Yes, sir, yes. Okay. And sir, for uh, final IPO for Antum uh, question related to IPO, yeah, you have shared a sample of Tata Tech. in excel file so yeah. are you expecting in a similar format in excel no no like you know like i have seen just a ppt which you know anuj and the group has done so ultimately you can just convert them into a ppt so that you know uh, uh, it is much easier to view a ppt so of course you can support 
with the excel sheet also with i mean your end term so the the ppt should uh, speak about all the you know uh, all your analysis okay so like what you okay. what anuj and their group has done so you can do okay that. so that is the best way of doing it okay okay sir okay yes okay. thank you sir thank you for your time and this thank was you, great like anuj. we loved the your subject kya bola aapne anuj we loved your subject completely okay great so i think uh, there was a great learning from for all of you as well as for me it was a great interaction and see you next class next lecture sir uh, sir most probably the uh, taxation course will be rolled out for next quarter so sir we want you to give the book ha uh ha -huh. you know the name has still not received uh, you know a, a, a letter of engagement from the university so they'll ask me a book so i'll just mention the name of the book okay so for gst book i'll just you know share uh, the book uh, with you on a whatsapp group uh, this which we are having currently okay so kindly recommend it to them so that we can get the hard copy uh, uh, sure because i have not received any communication official communication because you know there was still time so they will be issuing a letter to me uh, yes, maybe in another next to two or three days and they'll ask my uh, you know for the book also so i'll, I'll ask them to okay sir sir just we are requesting you to tell the program office when they will ask you to issue a book to us so that ah, we get ah, a hard ah, pakka i'll do that so don't worry yeah. about it okay thank I'll, you sir okay see you ne next month i mean thank this month only but maybe around middle of the month we'll start thank okay sir. okay all thank the best you. okay all the best thank you sir okay it was a great thank you sir on your side okay <laughs> Thank you sir. Okay, okay.